Hey, thanks for joining us. If you or someone you know has been injured in a crash that involved an 18-wheeler, you might want to have them watch this video because I've invited one of America's top trial lawyers, John K. Zaid, to join us. And John has uh, built quite a reputation down in Houston, Texas, uh, really helping people around the country who are involved in these very serious accidents. Uh, John, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Mike. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, uh, I drive in the freeway a lot every day, and I see these 18-wheelers, and it's kind of scary. They're these huge monstrosities. Uh, my wife gets nervous if we get too close to one of them. And uh, so, so I, I imagine a crash with one of those can just be a really horrific uh, situation. How have you become such a, uh, an accomplished lawyer at these types of wrecks? You know, unfortunately, Mike, these things happen all the time. And what people fail to realize is as much as we need these 18-wheelers on the road transporting the goods across city and state lines, uh, it comes with a lot of risk and a lot of unfortunate accidents do occur. The fact of the matter is we've handled our fair share of these 18-wheeler uh, accidents that have led, into, led to serious injuries and sometimes even death. Aside from the difference of the size of the vehicle, John, are, are there things that, um, that you've learned over the years when you're working with a commercial vehicle crash versus just you know, two cars? Yes, yeah, so a, a person driving a commercial vehicle is held to a different standard. They mm. have commercial driver license, and there are certain rules and regulations that they must follow, as well the company that employs these drivers do mm. have to follow certain rules and regulations. So they are held to a different standard, and unfortunately, a lot of times, cases that we handle, we're seeing that the vehicles are not being, you know, the 18-wheeler the vehicles are not being maintained in a proper fashion. Mm. The training is not occurring in a proper fashion. A lot of variables that go that come into play before the actual accident happens. You know, somebody who's driving on the road for an extended period of time who potentially right. is uh, sleepy or fatigued, or somebody who's driving on the road and using their cell phone, and, and the company that they work for is able to track that and they're aware of it, yet don't take any measures to uh, discipline these drivers simply because it's a means to an end. They want to make sure that the vehicles are on the road because they make money when it's on the road and they're delivering certain products. Right. But what they don't realize is there's rules and regulations for a reason. When those things are not followed, unfortunately, really serious accidents occur and really serious injuries and sometimes death even occurs. And that's where we come in and we have to deal with these families and console with, you know, these life changing events. Yeah. Sounds like you really have to be also a detective to track some of these details down. You do. You need to be a detective. You need to know how to track the details down. You need to be able to know how to preserve the evidence. Uh, there's certain documents and, and letters that we send to the insurance companies and the, and the, and the, the, the trucking companies right away to preserve mm -hmm. certain evidence. There are experts that we hire to, in, to investigate and inspect the vehicles and do certain things that really ensure that the company was following the rules and, and maintaining the vehicles in a proper fashion. So it, it, it's, it's a little bit it's not like your traditional everyday car wreck case that happens between John and Jane Doe. Well, John, if somebody was involved in, in one of these crashes and needed uh, to, to talk to you, how would they reach you? You know, the best way to reach our office is call us directly at 281-333-8959 or feel free to visit our website at zaidlaw.com. That's Z-A-I-D-L-A-W.com. Fantastic. And do you charge, if someone calls in, do you, do you charge them a fee to talk to them? You know, Mike, that's a good question. We don't charge anyone that calls us. We don't charge anyone that comes into our office. It's a free consultation. Mm -hmm. The only way that we're compensated in these type of cases, excuse me, is that if we're able to make a recovery on their behalf. So we usually enter into contingency fee agreements, which basically okay. means that we don't get anything up front. We just get a percentage of the recovery we're able to make on behalf of the family. Wow, very entrepreneurial. Well, John, thanks again so much for the work you do in your committee and, and community and for, and for being here today. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for watching. Send your questions or comments to Michael at mike at howdavidbeatsgoliath.com.